This is Kevin Harlan with Clark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. Right, David Aldridge is on our sideline. Go. We've got the Minnesota Timberwolves and the Portland Trailblazers. And Portland starts out with the ball. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. On the court for Minnesota. Wiggins at small forward with Gibson at the four. Teague runs the point with Butler at his side. They're the backcourt. And it's Towns in at the five, roaming the paint. McCollum, no good. On defense, the Trailblazers. You know, Clark, at the end of last season, the Timberwolves unveiled this new logo they're sporting this season. They thought it was time for an update, and you have to say it looks pretty sharp. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, most teams in the NBA want to mix their logo up every so often to keep it modern and up-to-date and fresh. The Wolves have a young group and felt it was the right time to re-examine the logo, and I can't argue with them. Sometimes a little change like that can pay big dividends. And Teague, here we go. Nurkic with the steal. And it's the Trailblazers on the break. McCollum with the ball. He feeds it to Lillard. And it's off from three-point range. Butler dishes to Towns. And stolen by Lillard. First quarter of play with about a minute and a half gone. Screen by Nurkic. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. Boy, it's a thing of beauty watching him attack the defense like that. I mean, they wanted no part of him on that layup. And how about a little bit breeds an excitement that's unique in and of itself and that's really what the players work hard all summer for is the opportunity to perform at their best during the regular season yeah getting theirs before the defense can set up perfect execution that's how you take advantage of a transition opportunity tries to keep it alive oh trying for it and it goes out of bounds gibson with the steal Here's Butler. Good, and the assist goes to Towns. Assist. Butler's got his second bucket tonight. And setting the tone early with a strong move to the rack. Yeah, I like the aggressiveness and the fearlessness there, Greg. I mean, very committed to getting the shot he wanted. Yeah, and he's connecting on a lot of his shots here, shooting a high percentage from the field, really giving his team a boost. Here's Towns. That one's not going to go. Great tee that time from Davis. Lillard attacking. It's McCollum on the wing. And he's good on the three ball. McCollum's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. The kick outside to Butler. The Timberwolves working the ball around. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the... And stolen by Jeff T. Feeds to Gibson. Lays it up, and despite of the excellent defense at that, Gibson's got his first two points. Colin passes to Turner. Gibson with the steal. And now the fast break. Gibson with the ball. Here's Towns. And it's blocked. No doubt it's been a bit of a struggle for him here in this quarter in terms of score. Davis sets a screen. Here's Turner. How on the play. Basket counts, so it'll be a three-point play chance. After that, into being just an inexperienced young group that's still kind of getting their feet wet. They've got Swanigan. Evan Turner is out there with Von. Then there's McCollum. And it's Connaughton in at the, the two. That's the group in the game for the Trailblazers. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Fellas, Al Farouk Aminu has established himself as a great defensive player. And he wants that recognition. He said, my goal every year is to be defensive player of the year. I want to guard one through four and even five sometimes. I want it to be known that I'm a great defender. 
and I want the league to recognize that. Kevin? Thanks, David. Aminu continues to prove his worth on the defensive end. His length and quickness certainly hard to deal with. Al Farouk Aminu, he's checked in for McCullough. Swanigan. And the rejection by Jang. And Bialica kicks to Jones. Muhammad on the wing. With the second effort. Here's Jang. It's tipped. And he recovers it. Takes the three. Kept alive. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. And that's exactly why you got to box him out, because when you don't, that's what happens. He burns. Clark, it makes sense when you look at their roster. They have guys who command a lot of attention in half-court sets. I agree with you, Kevin. I mean, Towns is the big one there. His versatility, he can step out as a big guy and make perimeter shots out to the three-point line. He can post it. Pretty good passer. Wiggins, terrific in isolation. Outstanding offensive player. This team can score the ball in transition. It's just not something they look for. I think they've got to balance it, though. Half-court action and a little more transition opportunity and to grow defensively will allow this team to sniff the playoffs. And it's Lillard missing. Timberwolves trailed by three. Here's Muhammad. Goes up and lays it nice and easy. Muhammad's got six. Every time they get scored on during this run, it's come from inside the paint. Lillard attacking. Nice four for seven from the floor with that shot. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of it. Muhammad, the pass to Bialica. Nurkic with the steal. And they're moving it up. Here's Harkless. Got a hand on it. And there's the foul. It'll go on Mo Harkless. Break and getting the defenders on their heels. The other thing that's helped them early tonight are the points they've been able to convert off turnover. Lillard dishes to Collins. And the rejection by Jan. They recover it. And it's slammed in by Davis. It's Jones on the way. Covered by Lillard. Jacks up a three. Minnesota working out with a new shot clock. Not quite enough defense. That time. Book shooting from the strike. Great form, soft release. Mark it up. Jang. And finished off by Jang. And, and guys, right now, the defense mentally not there. Can't afford too many of those in a close game like this. Yeah, Jay, you're right. Almost a free run for him there. Momentum can swing on plays like that, Kevin, especially when the finish has that much thunder on it. Here's Muhammad. He got it up that time, but it wouldn't fall for him. And the... Solid offensive basketball player, and as a guy who played inside and out, it was something I took pride in. And I wasn't the greatest athlete, a decent athlete, so my footwork allowed me to gain an advantage against bigger guys. And so in the game for the Timberwolves, Teague runs the point with Butler at his side. They're at the backcourt. Gibson is the four with Towns in the middle. And it's Wiggins in it the three side. They have yet to hit a shot. A real slow start here in the second half. Here's Willard. An easy layup after coming off the pit. And it's a nine-point Portland lead. A oh, fruitful possession. Just doing what they can to extend the lead. Yeah, that's tremendous efficiency there. I mean, you like seeing them put together these types of plays. And he could not get that one to go. Cash to kind of keep that young nucleus together. And despite spending big money to keep their young talent all together, last season the Blazers, Greg, nearly made the playoffs and were swept in the first round. Yeah, and, and some of those contracts, they have to be a concern. This team doesn't show progress this season. Still, there's something to be said for that stability. This roster, given the chance to grow together and develop that chemistry and continuity, 
Let's see what the ceiling is. He's just able to shoot over people at a high rate. And you are a good defender, Greg, so you tell me. How do you guard that? I mean, the height, the soft release, not a lot you can do against that combination. And Muhammad kicks to Bialitsa. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Trailblazers will take it. He just threw that possession away. Hopefully he learns from that and doesn't make the same mistake again. Pat Connaughton, he's checked in for the Trailblazers. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Alder. Well, guys, analytics has taken over the NBA, but Minnesota coach and president of basketball operations, Tom Thibodeau, says it doesn't tell you everything. He said analytics can measure a lot of things, but it's very difficult.